push down automata now push down automata is way to express a cfg cfg stands for context free grammar and the one that has production rules please refer to previous video if you need more clarification about cfg now any push down or any automata that we earlier saw had an input unit and a control unit now in push down automata we also have a stack pda is a seven tuple structure we are going to as we discuss the examples it will become more clear uh, as of now i'm just uh, discussing in brief about pda now pda is a seven tuple structure q are the states sigma are the input symbols you have the tau symbol which are the stack symbols then you have delta which is the transition function q not is the start state f is the final state z not is the initial stack symbol so as you can see there are two things that are added one is what stack symbols are allowed and another one is z not which indicates what is the initial stack symbol now let us understand how how does a transition uh, on a push down automata look like now this can be done in various ways i have discussed one particular way here so uh if there is two states and i want to show the transition then i should specify what input symbol with what stack top and what operation has to be done for example if the input symbol is a and the stack top is z not push a on to the stack pda accepts languages either by final state accept acceptability that is if i reach the final state then in that case the language might get accepted or otherwise it might be empty state acceptability uh, if the stack goes empty the pda will accept the language will accept the string of the language okay now let us consider a simple example design a pda to accept any number of a's and end with b so i can have initially any number of a's and finally the string has to end with the b so initially there can be initially there can be any number of a's so when i insert a for the first time the stack will have z not and i will push stack or uh, push a onto the stack or otherwise consider if i have multiple a's then in that case i may also have another a as the stack top in that case also i push a onto the stack only if i reach b that is b with a as the stack top and i push b onto the stack so i'm reaching the final state so in that case the string will be accepted by pda so now uh, let us consider an example here so i have 100 input what transition should take place what will be on the stack and what is the resultant new state now consider we are considering w equal to a a b this is my string so here in this case we have a a b as the input now i read the first alphabet here so i am left only with a b now what happens uh, with this particular transition now in which state will i be in i will be on q not what am i reading i read here a what is my initial stack symbol my initial stack symbol is z not that is stack will definitely have a z not 
So here also I can put Z0. Then after that, what operation am I doing? Am I, I am pushing A onto the stack. What will be my resultant state? I still remain on Q0. What will be in the stack? The stack will have this A and Z0. Any new state? No. Now, I am reading this particular symbol. So, that is why the heading says unread input. So, at this state, only A is read. B is not read. I will be on Q. I am continuing from Q0. I read A. What is my top stack symbol? Capital, uh, sorry, small a. What should I do with that? I should push it onto the stack. Which state do I land up in? Again, Q0. The stack will have A, A, Z0. And this is my new state. Now, I am reading B. So, here only thing left is epsilon. I start with Q0. What am I reading? B. What will be at the stack top? A. If so is the situation, I push a B onto the stack. Which state do I reach? I reach Q1. What will be on the stack? B, A, A, Z, not. Which state do I reach? Q1. Since final state is reached, the string is accepted by PDA. Please check the next video for more examples on PDA.